You don't want debris in any of the fluid in your truck, especially the coolant. Debris can damage and destroy vital cooling components like the EGR cooler. So keep your truck safe and ready to run for years to come with the XDP coolant filtration system. The filtration system is designed to filter solid particles from your six liters coolant system. By keeping debris like casting sand sediment out of the system, your coolant, water pump, and EGR cooler can work longer and harder. XDP's coolant filtration system is designed with simple connections and doesn't require any modification to factory hoses. The ball valves and shutoff valves used minimize the risk of coolant loss when changing the filter. The kit uses high quality silicone hoses to make things clean and simple without using a ton of hose clamps. The filter itself is easy to find. It can be purchased at xdp.com and the system is an all around easy install and can be done using only hand tools. Now that you know why you need this filtration kit on your truck, we're gonna show you how to get it hooked up on our six liter. Relieve the pressure by loosening the radiator fill cap slowly and drain the fluid from the entire system. Assemble the XDP filter base to the bracket using the supplied hardware. Don't install the filter just yet. Next, we'll install the ball valves to the base using thread sealant. The XDP filter base will be mounted through a stud on the left of the radiator. Find the plastic battery cable retaining clip that is slid over the 10 millimeter stud. This must be removed prior to mounting the bracket. The mount has a long slender portion which should go between an opening in the plastic intercooler mounting bracket. If you have an aftermarket intercooler, some modification may be required. Remove the radiator return line and keep the clamps for later use. Install the supplied coolant return hose to the ball valve in the base. This hose will be installed in place of the OE hose we removed earlier. This hose will be routed across the fan shroud and installed using factory clamps. Attach the short end to the radiator and long end to the expansion tank. Install the coolant supply line to the ball valve in the filter base. Route the hose to your heater supply line located next to the alternator on the passenger side of the vehicle. Remove the factory clamp and insert the T-fitting into the factory hose with the supplied section of 3 quarter inch silicone hose on the other side of the T. Slide the 3 quarter inch silicone hose over the metal tube. Reuse your factory clamp on the same hose it was removed from and use supplied clamps to fasten the hose to the T and metal coolant tube. When finished, the T-fitting will be in line and the plumbing is complete. Last but not least, install the supplied coolant filter on the base. Fill the system per Ford specifications and start the truck. Inspect for any leaks and top off the coolant as needed. We suggest hanging on to the factory coolant return line. In the rare event that the filtration system has to be removed, you'll need the line to put the truck back to stock spec. So don't let your truck's coolant system make you sweat. Get the XDP coolant filtration system for your truck today at xdp.com or contact your local dealer.